Hello there and welcome to my guide for painting Bob, Agent of Hydra and Blind Owl for Marvel Zombies. First thing I did was spray them up with some matte white spray from Colorforge. First thing I did was use some Warpstone Glow to paint the green on Hydra Bob. This will take a few coats. I then used Scarabite Green on Blind Owl's top. Both of these then got a wash with some Bell Tan Green. Once that wash had dried, I then went ahead and relayered the warpstone glow, making sure I avoided any of the recesses. This was followed by a 50 50 mix of warpstone glow and moot green. I then used Avalanche Sunset to paint the boots, the gloves, and the eye lenses. This was washed with Cassandori yellow. I then relayered the Scarabite Green on Blind Owl's top and followed up with a 50-50 mix of Scarabite Green and Matte White. On her card she's got a few stripes on her top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Calibite Green mixed with a little bit of Matte White to show those darkened lines. And then I'll add a little bit more matte white for a 70-30 split in favour of matte white for the little highlights. I'm then going to paint her trousers with some Eschen Grey. Which will be washed with some Nuln Oil. While that dries I'll move back to the yellow. I'm going to relayer the Avalanche Sunset making sure I avoid any of those recesses. This will be followed by a 50-50 mix of Avalanche Sunset and Flash Gets Yellow. And a final highlight of Flash Gets Yellow just by itself to finish off the highlights. For Blind Owl's trousers I'm going to use some Mechanicus Standard Grey for the first highlight. Followed by a 50-50 mix of Mechanicus Standard Grey and Dawnstone. I'm then going to use Mornfang Brown to paint the straps and pouches on Hydra Bob, as well as the bag that Blind Al is carrying. All of these areas will then be washed with some Army Painter Soft Tone. Once that wash had dried, I then did a 50-50 mix of Mornfang Brown and Skag Brown for the first highlight. And then just Skag Brown by itself for the second. Next I thought I'd start to work on the skin, so for Hydra Bob I thought I'd use Bugman's Glow. But I want Blind Owl to be a little bit fairer, so I'm going to paint her skin with some Cadian Flesh Tone as the base coat. All of this was then washed with some Reichland Flesh Shade. While that dried I painted Bob's buckles with some Iron Hand Steel. I also used Iron Hand Steel to paint part of his base as well. I then washed his buckles with some Nuln Oil. On Blind Owl's bag she's got a Deadpool symbol so for that I used some Mephiston Red to paint the outer ring. Which was then highlighted with some Evil Sun Scarlet. And I then used Abaddon Black to paint the inner face. I also painted her glasses and the pistol that Hydra Bob's got as well. All of these were then highlighted with some Corvus Black. I then highlighted Bob's buckles with some Storm Host Silver. I then went back to the skin and I relayered Bob's flesh with some Bugman's Glow. I did a 50-50 mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone for the first highlight. Then Cadian Flesh Tone just by itself for the next. I then used Caddy and Flesh Tone to relayer the flesh on Blind Owl. I then did a 50 50 mix of Caddy and Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh for the final highlight of Hydra Bob, but I also used it for the next highlight on our Blind Owl. And for the final highlight on Blind Owl, I just used Kislev Flesh all by itself. I then painted Blind Owl's shoes with some Warpstone Glow. Which I then washed with some Beltan Green. And then used a tiny bit of Mechanica Standard Grey just to give a little bit of highlight on her glasses. 
Her hair was then painted with grey sea. This was then washed with some non oil. I used Iron Warriors to paint the other side of Bob's base and Dawnstone to paint all of Blind Owls. I then very carefully dry brushed Blind Owl's base and her hair with some grey sear. Next I painted the rims of the bases with a batten black and washed both bases with some watered down Agrax Earthshade. And with that, you'll have finished your models. Once again, come on to really nice little miniatures with lots of sort of lovely detail or enough detail on there to make the model stand out on the board. These guys were a lot of fun to paint and didn't take too long whatsoever. And in fact, they only took around about four and a half hours for the pair. If you use this video as a guide, I really hope you found it useful. And I hope you think about giving the video a like and me a subscribe so you can tune in for more. I'm going to go through the whole uh, lot of these guys. Um, and I guess I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Again, really hope you found it useful and uh, goodbye for now.